Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to add a blend shape to your avatar. So as you can see with our example avatar here, we have a set of hair that comes with the avatar and a set of hair that we added. If you want to know how to do this, this will be my last video. And as you can see, there is still hair here, and this is not what we want. We want to get rid of this, right? But we don't want to completely delete it off our avatar because we may want to toggle between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blend shape for this avatar. To get started, we are going to click on our avatar here. We're going to go to the body mesh or whatever your mesh may be called. And we are going to find it by clicking on here. Now, this is the asset that we will be importing into Blender. So I'm going to open folder. I'm going to copy uh, this path up here. And then I'm going to switch into Blender. Now, while in Blender, we're going to go up to file. We're going to click import and we're going to click import FBX. And we're going to paste our path up here to find it and we're going to double check that it's the right one so we're going to go back into unity we're going to click on here and we're going to see hobkin revamp no digi so we're going to click on this version and we're going to import it into our project now after this is imported we are going to get rid of the camera the cube and the light and as you can see we have our avatar here that we are going to edit now for simplicity's sakes i'm going to hide everything that isn't the body so that we only are left with the body in edit mode and now to switch into edit mode, I'm going to press tab on my keyboard. Now you'll see, you see the avatar. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to get rid of these hairs up here and maybe these hairs in the ears later. But just for an example, I'm going to stick with these hairs up here. So I'm going to go back into object mode and I'm going to click on my avatar. I'm going to head down to this section right here and I'm going to go to the shape key section and I'm going to press the plus button to create a shape key. Now I'm going to call this one delete hair and we're going to set this shape key to one now what we're going to do is we're going to click the body press tab to edit to go into edit mode and then we're going to press l on all of these which will select all joined parts and then we're going to go over to this scale tool and we are going to shrink it down and then we are going to go to the move tool and we're going to move it inside of the head now you can see that it has shrunk and there's no hair on the top of the head now and to test this worked we can go back to object mode and if we slide this back to zero you can see that the hair appears and disappears now this means that you've successfully created this new shape key now our next step will be importing it back into unity so we're going to go to export so file export and then we're going to click on fbx again we're going to paste the path at the top like we did before we're gonna make sure we select the right avatar, but this time we're going to make sure that we turn bake armature off and we're gonna turn off um, add leaf bones. And we are gonna make sure that we have the right scaling uh, option applied here. I believe for mine, it is all local. Yours may be FBX all or something in between here. You may need to try it a few times to make sure you get the right one, but I'm going to just use all local here. I'm going to export the FBX and then I'm going to give it a few seconds as it imports into Unity. And now that it is imported into Unity, we can now go over to our avatar. We can go to the body section. We can open up this blend shape tree. And if you scroll to the bottom, we should have our new blend shape that we created, delete hair. So you've successfully made it so that you can delete your hair while toggling on other hairs. And as you can see, that looks a lot better compared to having them both on at the same time. Anyways, that has been a short tutorial on how to add a blend shape to your avatar. Thank you for watching. If this, if this helped you at all, please leave a like and subscribe and have a good rest of your day.